Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Boss, and is the Marvel Cinematic Universe the Dimension Numerical Designation of 616 or 199999? The recent trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse just weighed in on this debate with a bold stance from Miguel O'Hara. What's the guy gotta do to join this spider team? You can never be part of this. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 199999. 616 is considered the designation for the home Marvel Universe in the comics, and in 2018, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, 616 was listed on their screen to show the contrast to the universe of Miles Morales Spider-Man 1610 and all the universe numbers we see in these animated movies match the comics exactly. But this contradicts the line from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness when Christine Palmer from the 838 universe told the MCU Stephen Strange that his home reality was 616. Our universe is 838 and we've designated yours 616. Oh. You guys sure must know a lot about the multiverse if you got someone going around naming realities. A very disruptive declaration from Marvel Studios, because for many years the MCU had been known as 199999, a distinctly different universe from the home universe of the comics, 616. But over the years, the MCU has begun to mention 616 more and more. And today's video is sponsored by Babbel, one of the top learning language apps in the world. Babbel specializes in preparing you for real life encounters and situations. And new rock stars, we've been using Babbel for a while now, and it's great. Studies have shown that 15 hours of using Babbel is the equivalent of a semester of college Spanish. And 15 hours in Babbel flies by like nothing. You can watch videos, listen to podcasts, play games, or do sessions, whatever kind of learning mood you're in, Babbel's got something that fits the bill. You're learning, but it's gamified enough to be legit fun too. I have daily goals and achievements I can unlock as I learn the language. At this point, I've been using Babbel long enough that I've leveled up from the hello, goodbye, please, and thank you stuff to the more interesting things like siempre como de más días palomitas de maíz cuando veo Está bien, las palomitas de maíz son muy sabrosas. So get 60% off your subscription when you click the link in the description or scan the QR to start learning with Babbel today. Like Loki Episode 1 had a TVA film strip of Loki's life in the Infinity Saga labeled 616. In Spider-Man Far From Home, Mysterio Quentin Beck said, There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. 616 was written on Scott Lang's storage locker in Avengers Endgame. 616 was one of many things written on Eric Selvig's chalkboard in Thor The Dark World, though you could say those last two might have just been set designer Easter eggs and many Marvel comics fans point to Quentin Beck being a liar and say that the TVA and Christine Palmer might just be lying or mistaken. That the TVA was one massive con anyway, so they can't really be trusted, and Christine Palmer's numbering system would just be how she and the Baxter Foundation categorize the realities of the multiverse, and that doesn't make 616 the true objective number of the MCU. They point to examples in the comics that reference the live action movies as a separate universe within the same multiverse of the comics, like in 2013's Young Avengers Volume 2 Number 8, a passport shows their passage through through the multiverse, which includes a stamp from Earth 199999. This has also gone the other way. In the first Captain America film, kids read the exact issue of Captain America number one from 1941, exactly as it looks in the comics. Iman Vellani, the MCU's Kamala Khan, weighed in on this after Multiverse of Madness came out. I'd like to say, that's 616. I don't believe that the MCU is 616. As much as Kevin Feige can make us think that it's 616, it is 199999. Bellani went on to say in other interviews, all this happened because Kevin Feige made a joke in an interview about how long the MCU would stand for, and he said 199, 999 years. But we need a number, and you can't take it from the Marvel Comics canon, because that was like the main comics canon where all the main events took place. I was actually able to ask him on Bellani about this last year. All right, I gotta ask you, I read the Reddit AMA where you said that after you said that the MCU wouldn't be 616 on the red carpet, that I guess Kevin Feige saw you the next day and stared you down and just went like, and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think about that every day. It's I, I, okay. I get it. I get it. I get he makes decisions. That's fine. He's done a great job. I'm just yeah. trying to, you know, it's convenience. You now you have to specify comics one six versus MCU six one six, and I'm just trying to save everyone's breath. You know, mm -hmm. like it's a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Kevin just doesn't like nine, 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 nine. Now, you may be watching this wondering, why are people so pissed off about this? Well, for Villani and many others, it's just confusing. Marvel Comics have used 616 for the primary Earth since 1983, a Captain Britain storyline written by David Thorpe, who in 2020 was asked by Marvel.com how he came up with a numbering system for the different universes, and he said, obviously, it has something to do with 666, the number of the beast, 666 minus 50. Well, there you have it. As always, Mephisto was behind yeah. it all. Goodbye, everybody. 
But where did $199, $999 come from? Well, Villani cited a joke that Kevin Feige supposedly made, and there is a lot of chatter on social media about Kevin Feige supposedly joking that he wanted the MCU to run for 199,999 years, but I can confirm to you all watching that that is not true. There is literally no record anywhere of Kevin Feige ever saying that. No interview, no Reddit AMA, no convention speech, no investor call, no red carpet remark, nothing hidden under that ball cap. I checked everywhere. Some say 199, 999 might come from the year 1999 when the first X-Men movie began shooting, which is where Kevin Feige got his start as an associate producer. But if that's true, why would he just randomly add two nines? Also, Kevin Feige's work on that movie began long before principal production began in September 1999. Development for that movie began years before that. And also, would he just care more about the release year of 2000? No, this 199, 99 99 years quote is a complete myth that originated with one reddit post i found in 2017 that every article and social media post ever since has echoed without bothering to verify you can actually google the phrase in quotes 199999 years and there is literally zero mention of marvel or feige before 2017 but there was a book published by marvel comics the january 2008 edition of the official handbook of the marvel universe which lists what was then the upcoming 2008 iron man movie as earth 199 999. That's it. One reference book published by a different division of Marvel Entertainment that likely had little understanding of the complex world the MCU would grow into. Kevin Feige himself certainly didn't. And that's why we don't have any real Feige quote about this. It came from a division of Marvel that he had nothing to do with, and he's the one who keeps getting asked about it. I think by making these 616 references, Kevin Feige wants to claim the cinematic universe as the primary source universe, a film adaptation of the main universe of the comics. He wants people to think it's the same thing, but in movies. But that is the frustration comics fans feel. Because for people who found their way into Marvel through the MCU titles, that's no big deal. Number it whatever you want. But for readers who found their way in through comics issues before they were adapted into films, labeling the movie universe 616 might feel like it's demoting the importance of the source material that they grew up reading, as if these pages are not the true version of the overall narrative. These readers feel that the comics are the pure gospel with a numbering system that already works, and that Kevin Feige is a temporary steward of this current era of film adaptations that represent just one interpretation of their scripture. Now, you see this less with readers of a franchise like Harry Potter when those books were turned into movies, but Harry Potter doesn't have a meta multiverse numbering system in which the books and movies reference each other as distinct timelines. And also those films were coming out as the book series was still being written and they don't seriously diverge from that narrative. It's all one thing in fans' minds, but not the case for Marvel. The MCU couldn't have X-Men or Fantastic Four for many years and they still have rules about how much they can feature Spider-Man and Hulk. The movies just had to make different choices with the narrative. Civil War in the MCU is just not the same thing as Civil War in the comics. It's not even close. So is the MCU 616 or is it 199999? Who's right? Christine Palmer or Miguel O'Hara? Well, here's what I know. I know Sony doesn't get to decide what the MCU calls itself. I know 199999 is a pretty random number that Feige himself never said. I know universal numerical designations only matter to characters outside of that universe, because if you're in a universe, to you it's just home. And I know that if Christine Palmer can be wrong, so can Miguel. O'Hara. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say the MCU is neither 616 nor 199999, and it will not have earned the status of 616 until after Avengers Secret Wars, when Kevin Feige can do a clean reboot of the franchise with a proper lineup of Fantastic Four and Mutants and Spider-Man and a new Tony Stark, a movie 616 that actually looks like the comic 616. Until then, Marvel Studios can call itself 616, but many of us will place beside that 616 a tiny little asterisk that will link down to a footnote that will read, mm, not yet. April 21st will begin my rewatch series of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2 over on the Deep Dive channel. So please subscribe and keep an eye out for those videos. You're going to love them. Support our growing network by grabbing something from our merch store, nerdriot.shop. Subscribe to New Rock Stars on YouTube and on all social platforms. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss. Thanks for watching. Bye.